in this video we are going to be learning how to use the gucci hook on the flip-flop you are seeing on your screen so firstly i am going to create an angle at the edges of these stripes you can see there's a raw file that i'm using to create or locate the angles at the edges if you want to know how i got that raw file you can check the video list or you can see the video at the end of this video so after locating the angles i am going to cut off the excess the width of these stripes is 1.2 inch after that i'm going to join the two edges together this way you can see how it looks so this is how i'm going to join both of them together so right now i'm going to apply gum at the edges of the two stripes at that angle i'm going to apply gum slightly on the edges the two of them And this is the piece of leather I am going to use to join the two together. So I'm also going to apply gum on the surface also. And after they have dried, that is when the gums are dried. I'm going to join it this way. I'm going to make sure that there is no gap in between the two stripes. So after that, I am going to sew here, here, and also here. I'm going to sew them. So as you can see, I have finished sewing them, you can see it. The next thing that I'm going to do is to cut off the excesses. Then this is a stripe that I am going to use for the hook. You see how I'm going to pass it through the hook. The length of this stripe is 12 inch while the width is 0.6 inch. The length is 12 inch while the width is 0.6 inch. So after passing it through the hook this way, you can see it. The next thing is to apply gum on the joint and also on the stripe. I'm going to be very very careful in applying the gum in order not to spill gum where it's not necessary.
when they are dried up i'm going to place the gushi hook at the center of the joint i'll make sure that the hook is at the center of the joint then i'm going to turn the stripe to meet the other end After that, I am going to also seal here this place. So you can see I have sewed it. The lighter is just to lock the stitches. That is why I am using the lighter. At this point, I'm going to attach my toe guard. It's either you use the leather to form your toe guard or you can leave the stripe that way, sew it to give it a curve shape. But in this case, I'm using a rubber toe guard. So after installing that, the pattern is ready. It is very simple. You can see that we are done so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get updates for the next video thank you and see you in our next video have a nice day